Here's my look at a 2017 Nissan Versa Note. Using a GQ EMF 380 meter, I set it on the driver's floorboard, and here's the reading we get, 82 milligauss. Now, 0.5 to 2.5 is about right. That's normal. We can survive that. Here's 73 milligauss right there at the driver's floor, down to your feet. Moving the meter over toward the transmission tunnel, we've got 36, 40, 36, 35. That's high. Uh, that That's really high. Again, 3 to 5 is what BP Earthwatch says is about normal. And I love his work on the web. Moving up higher where the driver's feet would be, we're looking now at 75, 81 milligauss. That's a very high reading. And if you're affected by EMF, this is the kind of thing that would really drive you nuts. 63 over near the accelerator pedal. To me, it feels like my feet are cooking the whole time I'm driving this car. Back toward the floorboard again, 57.9, 63. Again, these are not low readings in a car. We're looking for something like 5 as the highest. And this is way beyond that. Again, we're looking at a Nissan Versa Note. Here in the seat, 31.7. Moving up the seat a little bit. This is in the seat back, 7.1 milligauss there. And then up near the driver's head, it drops off a lot, 0.2. That's fine. That's perfectly safe. If only you could just stay there and have your feet there, too. This is the fuse panel, where I saw a reading initially of about 70. And if you back away a little bit, you're down to 50, 46, 60 milligauss. The fuse panel's on the left side, right inside the door. Now, what was really surprising was taking the meter down to the rocker panel where the door closes, where you, the driver would enter the car. We're looking at 77, 80 milligauss right there. Trouble is, that's where you sit. This is with the engine idling, by the way. No idea if you're going faster, if this would be higher. It probably would, because steel belted tires also generate a bit of a field around them, unless you degauss them. Let's look at the passenger area. Now, if you could get a steering wheel extension and also extend the accelerator and brake, here's where you want to sit. Uh, it's 2.6 or so on the floorboard. This is the passenger seat right behind the driver. 0 0.4, that's wonderful. If only, you know, if only. But that's not how it works. Passenger side, to the right of the driver. On the floor, 6.9, 8 milligauss. It's high, but it's way better than on the other side of the car. Up on the floorboard, it increases. We're up to like 25 milligauss there. And toward the tunnel, it's a little bit higher, 79, 80. So more like the driver's side. This is right at the front of the seat, the passenger seat. And we're looking at 77, 78, 60 milligauss. That's high. Something is going on under the seats of this car that really needs shielding of some kind. On the seat, 17, 19. Still not a safe environment even for a passenger. And then looking up on the seat back further, 3.9. And you get to the passenger's head, again, it drops down to 0 0.1, and that's just fine.